Uh, also, uh, and, and you're going to hear more about this uh, with a formal presentation and, and recommendation about the Buck O'Neill Bridge uh, project later. But I, I just want to recognize and, and hope everybody takes a moment to sit back and, and realize we've been dreaming about this. Um, this is a major project. It's a lot of money. Um, it is very hard uh, to put these together on a financial plan. Uh, I, I think we should recognize that the, that the region, the Kansas City region, really stepped up to the plate here, um, committing committing literally over $70 million to this project from city coffers uh, and from taxpayers in the city. It just shows you how important as a regional priority this is. Uh, and I tell you, that leadership from the city also was a big part of why um, a federal build grant was drawn down and made available here. Uh, and, and also uh, the Mid-America Regional Council. Um, allocated uh, sub allocated resources uh, that are that are not within the, the federal funds pool uh, to this project over 40 million dollars these these efforts this local um, engagement this local financial support and and carry on at the state level and all the way through uh, to the federal um, federal government with the build grant uh, is why we're here today. Uh, and, and it's just, it's so exciting to be at this point in the procurement when we can, when we can now, after years of getting to this point where we're going to be able to, um, hopefully with your consent, uh, pick the contracting team and get to work. I mean, it, it, it's, it's amazing how long in the world it is that we live in today it takes to get to this point, but it, it's something worth celebrating. It's a big lift. Um, but for the, the uh, I-270 project, this is the biggest project, maybe the most complicated project that the department has taken on in well over a decade. Uh, and, and I want to recognize uh, Mary Miller, our, our project director. She is doing a terrific job of shepherding the, the entire process to this point, bringing us to this point, working with the bidders, um, working uh, to, to garner uh, support from within MoDOT as well. Uh, it, very important support that's going on from uh, within the Kansas City District, Dave Sylvester and the team, uh, but also Dennis Heckman and the bridge team have been a big part of getting us to where we are. Uh, we've had help from uh, our right-of-way teams in, in Central District. Uh, so it's really a team effort here, but I, I tell you, you know, every team needs to be led and Mary's doing a wonderful job. And uh, so I, I'm just thrilled that we're here. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, presentation and, and for your um, your decision making in that. Mr. Chairman, commissioners, we're really excited to bring this to you. I just want to do a little setup here. Um, you know, we started talking about doing design build at MoDOT in the in about 2000. We decided this was a tool we needed to to develop some complex projects. And so we went to the legislature in the mid 2000s to get permission because we didn't have the authority to do it under state statute um, and they gave us authority to do three projects as a pilot those were so successful that Jay and his team later went back to the legislature and asked that we could get permission to do up to two percent of our projects of the total projects in the state using the design build model and I want to be real clear here is that you know we make make a real big deal about making sure that we only use the design build process where it really makes a difference. And so we do a detailed risk assessment of the project delivery method. And then we bring that to you for your approval to move forward with a design build project. And I just know today in your consent agenda, you approved the authority for us to move forward with another design build uh, bundle of bridges on I-44. Um, and that'll be another one we'll be bringing to you later. Um, to date, we've done only in the last 15 years, we've done 18 projects with design build. Now, some of those are big and some of them were small, but a total of $2 billion in program value over the last 15 years for some pretty complex projects that have all been successful. Um, so the next thing that we really do is find a great leader to lead these complicated projects. So Dave Sylvester and his team in Kansas City went about the process of finding a project director. 
and you all have heard from the director, and I think you have said it, that Mary Miller was selected to do that, and she has done a fabulous job. One of the other things that we do is I transfer the authority of the chief engineer to our project director. And I think that's important because that gives the teams that are competing for these jobs kind of the confidence that the decisions that get made as they're procuring this job don't get second guessed. So they know when Mary tells them this is up, this is up. That we proceed, that's how we do it. And it gets us the best innovation and it gives us the best speed of delivery. And those are two hallmarks of design build. So with that, I'm thrilled to turn the turn the floor over to Mary Miller, our project director, and her fabulous team that has, has done a really bang up job here. So Mary, if you'll take it away. Thank you, Ed. Um, Chairman Waters, Commissioners, Director McKenna. Um, I do have a PowerPoint. I think they need to load that up. Thank you. Um, I'm very pleased to be here today to present our recommendation for the best value design for the Buck O'Neill Bridge design build project. Next slide, please. I would like to recognize some of the team members who have contributed to the success of the Buck O'Neill project. Um, I'm Mary Miller, I'm the project director. Matt Dalton is our deputy project director. Carly Covington is our project team coordinator. Jordan Swing is also a project team coordinator. Courtney Lego is our administrative technician. Perry Allen has been our project sponsor. And Joshua Scott is our traffic and safety advisor. Um, also, James Wong from the city has been our city representative, and as stated before, this is a 50-50 partnership between Murdoch and Kansas City, so he's been a big help with that. Um, and then also Julie Sarson, our owner engineer from Burns and McDonald, has functioned as our bridge representative. Next slide, please. This project is located in downtown Kansas City, Missouri, in the northwest corner of the downtown loop. It runs from just north of the downtown airport and heads south over the river and ties into Broadway downtown and I-35 on the west side of the downtown loop. The purpose of the project is to facilitate the safe movement of people and goods along the US-169 corridor while improving mobility, connectivity, and accessibility across the Missouri River. The needs on the project include maintaining the infrastructure, including addressing the physical condition of the historic Buck O'Neill Bridge, maintaining a reliable regional transportation linkage across the Missouri River that services local and regional traffic and minimizes local traffic conflicts, and improving the operational and safety performance of the Missouri River crossing for all transportation modes. Next slide, please. The project goals were developed based on the purpose and needs of the project. They are as follows. Number one, construct a new Missouri River Bridge that can be reasonably maintained and will provide a century of service within the program budget. Number two, provide a safe, connected, and tr accessible transportation facility that improves system performance. Number three, minimize the impact to the traveling public during construction. Four, complete the project by December 1st, 2024, utilizing a diverse workforce. And the contract amount was 219,353,000, and this was a fixed price best value contract. Next slide, please. The DB goals on the project are 14% for construction activities and 18% for professional service activities. The workforce diversity goals on the project were 12.7% minority per craft, 6.9% female per craft, and included on the job training requirements of seven positions at 1,000 hours each, including six construction and one professional services. Next slide, please. There were three pre-qualified teams that submitted proposals on the project. They are American Bridge with major participants, American Bridge Company, Parsons Transportation Group, and Rodmacher Brothers Excavating Company. Massman Clarkson, a joint venture, including Massman Construction Company, Clarkson Construction Company, and h and Corporation. And Trailer Ames Joint Venture, including Trailer Brothers, Ames Construction, Jacobs Engineering Group, and Garver. 
Next slide, please. The project was scored based on the following categories. Project definition, which includes the Missouri River Bridge, system performance, other structures, and urban design. This was worth 65 points. Project safety was worth 20 points. Maintenance of traffic and schedule were worth 15 points for a total of 100 points. Next slide, please. So the first proposal is American Bridge. Um, their proposal includes a new Missouri River Bridge structure with two lanes northbound and two lanes southbound and a 10-foot shared use path on the west side of the bridge. It also includes access improvements to the Harlem Rue Roundabout at the downtown airport and access improvements at the north side of the downtown airport. On the south side of the river, shown in the top photo, are direct connections between US-169 and I-35. The compact connections run just adjacent to existing Broadway. The connection southbound on a Broadway downtown will be accommodated using a new loop around 5th Street and 3rd Street west of Broadway, including a new signal at 5th Street and Beardsley Road. Construction closures on the project for southbound 169 is 305 days, and closure of northbound 169 is 275 days. Urban design on the project includes a bike ped path across the river, decorative light bridge lighting, decorative bridge railing, scenic overlooks, and a Buck O'Neill statue and plaque. The construction completion date for this proposal is October 31st, 2024. Next slide, please. The Massman-Clarkson joint venture proposal includes two river bridge structures with two lanes northbound and two lanes southbound and a 10-foot shared use path on the east side of the bridge. Access improvements are included at the Harlem Road Roundabout at the downtown airport, the central airport entrance, and at the north side of the airport. On the south side of the river, there are 45 mile per hour direct connections southbound and northbound between US-169 and I-35. Direct access is provided to and from Broadway at the south end of the Missouri River Bridge. City street access is improved by the realignment of 3rd Street, 5th Street, and Beardsley Road west of Broadway. Construction closures on the project include 616 days for southbound 169 and zero days for northbound 169. Urban design on the project includes a bike ped path across the river, decorative color changing bridge lighting, decorative ra bridge railing, a scenic overlook, and murals. The construction completion date for this proposal is 12-1-2024. Next slide, please. The Trailer Ames Joint Venture proposal includes a single river bridge structure with three lanes northbound and two lanes southbound and a 10-foot shared use path on the west side of the bridge. No access improvements are included north of the river at the downtown airport. On the south side of the river, there are direct connections between US-169 and I-35. Northbound has a 35 mile per hour speed limit and southbound has a 45 mile per hour speed limit. Direct access is provided to and from Broadway at the south end of the Missouri River Bridge. City street access is improved through the use of a roundabout shown in the top photo that ties 5th Street, 3rd Street, and Beardsley Road together and provides access to I-35 and I-70. Construction closures include 240 days for southbound 169, 240 days for northbound 169, and also reduces I-70 eastbound to one lane for 150 days and westbound for 90 days. Urban design on the project includes a bike ped path across the river, Buck O'Neill banners on the bridge lighting, decorative bridge railing, and a scenic overlook. The construction completion date for this proposal is 11-1-2024. Next slide, please. Our recommended best value design is Massman Clarkson, a joint venture. Shown here is a fly through simulation of the recommended best value design. Please play the video.
Next slide, please. Improvements included in the recommended best value design south of the river are 45 mile per hour direct connections between US 169 and I-35, improvements to the city street network, replacement of the I-35 and I-70 loop bridges over 6th Street, and new direct connections to Broadway going into downtown. Next, please. Improvements included in the recommended best value design. Um, I don't think it got, next slide, please. Um, improvements included, okay, sorry. Improvements included north of the river are two new bridges over the Missouri River with a 10-foot shared use path that ties into Richards Road on the north side of the river and the Riverfront Trail on the south side of the river. Also included are access improvements at the downtown airport and replacement of the southbound approach bridge to the Missouri River. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. We request the commission approve our recommendation of Massimo Clarkson, a joint venture, as the best value proposer and authorize the director, deputy director, chief engineer, assistant chief engineer, or the designee to negotiate a, and execute a contract subject to approval as to form by the chief counsel's office with Massimo Clarkson, a joint venture, and approve the payment of 1 million stipend to the unsuccessful proposing teams. Thank you. Great, thank you, Mary. Are there any comments or questions for Mary? I would just say, uh, Mr. Chairman, how exciting. To get nothing like a big $200 million bridge to get an engineer going in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations, Mary, to you and your team. And uh, my first two jobs out of college were bridges, which I said I never wanted to work on again. But if you need help with the slump test up there, I'll run that, that slump test for you. <laughs> you still do slump test? Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> and, and I'll help clean up Bob's mess when he does that test. Congratulations to you and your team. This is wonderful. <laughs> Any other comments? Is there a motion to approve the rec the uh, bid as recommended by the team? So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to, to approve Massman construction on this project. Uh, any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed the same sign? The motion carried.